Hello my friends, Bearski here. In order to make sure that this guide works 100% the same for me as it would for you, I would highly recommend downloading and installing the mobile VR station and then using that app to install SideQuest. That guarantees that there's no discrepancies between what you're seeing and what, I, and what I'm doing. Now let's get to it. Step 1. Click on Quick Settings on the dashboard and ensure that the multi-window feature is turned on. You can tell it's on if it's blue and your browser window is huge and curved. Step 2. Go to the Meta Store, either by going through App Library or by clicking this yellow icon on the dashboard. Step 3. Search for Mobile VR Station. If the keyboard does not open, then you will need to restart your Quest 2 as the app that handles the keyboard has crashed. Step 4. Click on the Mobile VR Station app and click on View in Store. Click on OK on the Available Through App Lab prompt. Click Download. Step 5. Special note for Step 5. If you already have a Microsoft Outlook account, then you can skip this step. A Microsoft account is recommended in case you want to play Minecraft VR with only using your headset. I do have a guide on setting that up if you wish to look it up. Now click on the app library on your dashboard. Go to the MetaQuest browser. Go to Outlook.com. Click Sign In on the top right. Click on No Account. Create one. Make an email address you can remember. Create a password you can remember. Add a first and last name. Choose your country or region. And your birth date. Do the verification puzzle. Beauty. Step 6. Create a new tab in the browser. Go to SideQuestVR.com. Click on Sign Up. Enter that easy to remember email. Go back to the Outlook Email Outlook tab that we didn't close. Now find the verification code and punch in the code on SideQuestVR.com and click Verify. Fill in your data and click Sign Up. Step 7. Click on the search bar at the top and type in SideQuest VR. Click on the SideQuest VR app. Scroll down and click on the link beside Download APK directly. It should be above the news feed. Click on App Release APK. You will get a prompt saying that it's downloading. Step 8. Click and hold the tab at the top of the browser and drag it to the window holder on the left as I do here. Step 9. Go to App Library and click on Mobile VR Station. Step 10. Click Allow for the Allow Permissions folder. Special note for this app. It has an odd feature where if you hover over a selectable object, it will click on that object within 3 to 5 seconds. Please be aware of that. 
now click on local files click on all folders click on Android click on data click on scope storage actions click on step one request access click on quest 2 on the top left special note here for some reason for different regions it may say standalone HMD instead no idea why but you can just click this instead of quest 2 Click on download. Click on the quad arrow at the top right of apprelease.apk. If you do not get a prompt, then close Mobile VR Station and repeat the step 10 process. Otherwise, click continue and click install. But be aware, you are still not done. Step 11. Open the MetaQuest browser. Create a new tab. Click, hold, and drag the tab to the left, as I do here. Step 12. Go to App Library. Click on the search bar at the top. Click the All Drop Down list and click Unknown Sources. Another special note you may see a funnel as opposed to the drop down list. Meta keeps changing between the two each update. And this, if you do have the funnel, then click the funnel and select unknown sources. Then click on SideQuest. Step 13. Go to this website, sdq.st slash link on your browser to your left and punch in the code displayed on your headset and click link now. Step 14. Click Allow Permissions and you are 99% done. When you sideload your first app, you will get one final prompt. Just go ahead and confirm or allow and you are done. Congratulations! You just installed SideQuest without using a phone or a PC. Now that's out of the way, click on App Library. Go to the search bar at the top and click Unknown Sources. Go to SideQuest and click on BMBF. That's the one with the unicorn. Click on Sideload when it shows up. Allow it to download and click install. Wait for the second part to download and then click update. Close side quest. If Beat Saber is installed, be sure to uninstall it now. To do so, click on the three horizontal dots and click Uninstall. Right now, as you can see, I have it uninstalled. Now go to the App Library and click on the MetaQuest browser. Go to YouTube. Search up my channel. You can just type in Bearski. Click on the how to install modded Beat Saber on the Quest 2 with no PC or phone in September 2023. Sorry for the title. <laughs> now go to the description. You can pause the video if you want. Or you can just let it run while you're doing this. That's cool too. Click and hold uh, your 
trigger button for clicking while pointing at the first link, and then click Open a New Tab. Click the little person icon in the top right. Sign in with your Facebook Meta account that purchased Beat Saber. Now go back to the YouTube Video tab and click and hold on the second link. Be sure to open this in a new tab as well. Scroll down until you find the version 1.28.0 underscore 41 yada yada yada. There's only one version 1.28, so you can't miss it. Click Download. Allow the APK to download. It's the black bar that you're currently seeing on my screen. Now open the mobile VR station app. Click on local files. Click all folders. Click Android. Click data. Click Scoped Storage Actions. Click Step 1 Request Access. Click Quest 2. Special note here. For some reason, for different regions, it may say Standalone HMD instead. No idea why, but you can just click this instead of Quest 2. Then click the Download folder. Click the quad angle squares to the top right of Beat Saber APK. Click Continue. Click Install. Click Done. Now close the app. Go to App Library. Go to the search bar and change from All to Unknown Sources. Open BMBF. Switch the All Files Access prompt to On and click on the top left arrow to go back. Click OK for the BMBF permissions. Click Allow on the next prompt. You may need to restart BMBF. It will go at one point, I guarantee it. Now you should have this pink Get Started button and BMF telling you that you are on version 1.28. Click Get Started. Click Uninstall Beat Saber.
Click OK at the Uninstall this app. Click Patch Beat Saber. Click Install Modded Beat Saber. Click Settings, switch the toggle on, and click the top left arrow um, to go back. And click Install Modded Beat Saber. Click Close on the prompt. Turn the toggle on for version 1.28 Beat Saber. Now go to browser and download the mods that you want. I recommend Chroma, Noodle Extensions, and Map Extensions. Bonus mod that I like using because I like custom sabers is the Cosmetic Whackers. I have a guide for that if you want to install those. Now click on Mods and make sure the mods you want have their toggles active. You have to click and drag the toggle. Now click the bright red sync to Beat Saber. Allow it to do its thing. I did receive an error here, but it was just an initial startup error that didn't affect the install process at all. Everything just went. Now go to App Library and install Beat Saber. Be sure not to update or restore the app. Click Allow on the final prompt and you're done. With that out of the way, here's a couple tips for using mod Beat Saber. Um, first one I'm going to be downloading songs because I always get that question or I kept getting that question in my last two guides You look to your left. You'll notice that there is more songs click on that To the left in this section You'll notice that there is various filter criteria that you can add and direct in front of you is the master search bar Enter the title of the song you want and download it mm -hmm. I do have a list of 11 must try quest 2 beat saber songs that you should definitely use or you would definitely want in your library. Now after downloading the song, press the go back arrow at the top. Go to solo Make sure you select the hand with the music note, and find your song, and have fun. Again, thank you so much for watching. It means a lot to me. If you could do me a favor and click that like button, it would be amazing. It helps this video get pushed out to more people. Thanks again. You're awesome, and I hope to see you on the next one.